Yes, lads, round two of the World Cup. Here's my predictions. Tell me yours down below in the comments. Most of you should not be really taking my opinion seriously, considering, and I, I will own up to my own mistakes, that I, I indeed did actually tweet out this um, before the Spain-Costa Rica game. So I don't know why you really are here. I mean, don't take my opinion seriously. However, I have got one correct today of recording. Of course, Wales and Iran have already played and so have Qatar and also Senegal. So I will be honest here, I could have cheated and I could have like pretended that, oh, I actually thought that Iran was going to win. Um, and I thought they probably actually could have. And looking back on it, I probably should have because I thought they'll be going through the group. However, I thought that Wales, I thought that they'll both go for it and they'd be a high scoring game. And in reality, they both did go for it. But yeah, I thought it'd be a draw and Iran won. Uh, but I did predict, and this you can tell by the timestamp here, Senegal 3, Qatar 1. So I'm very, very happy with that prediction. So I've got one correct, exactly. Bang on. So that means something, right? My predictions have been okay. Not the best. Um, one real stinker. But let's be honest, none of you thought that Saudi Arabia was going to go beat Argentina. Okay? So cut the shit. You didn't think that. Okay? But I did say that Germany, Japan would be a draw. Of course, Japan won in the end, but I did think there'd be an upset, so I'll take that as well. Anyway, here, I'm going to give all my predictions for round two of the World Cup starting now. So, lads, for the World Cup, this video has been sponsored by Hitch, the go-to place for all your World Cup predictions and also quizzes. If you've got some spare time, this is a great place to go and see how good your World Cup knowledge is. Go down below to the top link of the description to go and join me at Hitch. By competing in these predictions or quizzes, you win Hitch coins along the way and with this currency, you can go and withdraw for real life money. Absolutely free to play as well, and it is so simple to do. And while predicting each game, it's not just as simple as just a scoreline. You can win coins by guessing the amount of correct corners, by guessing the amount of correct cards. Many ways for you guys to earn real life money. I'll leave the link at the top of the description and go and compete with me. Thank you, Hitch, for sponsoring today's video. First game, Netherlands v Ecuador, and I did initially say 1 0 Netherlands. However, I just kind of feel like there's always an upset each day, and I'm not going to say that it's going to be. England. So, I actually want to say it's going to be 1-0 Ecuador. I just got a feeling that there'll be an upset and I think that'd be the one. England v USA, I think USA will have to go for it and I think they'll leave them very vulnerable at the back for counters and I think England will take advantage. I would say 3-1 England. I think USA could score a goal because Iran scored two passing around you, I guess, but I, I think England will win, and that's just maybe my bias, but I don't think it is. I think England will win 3-1. Tunisia versus Australia, and it's quite even depending on what you think might happen in this game, and that's why I feel like it can be a draw. But I did like what I saw from the Tunisians. I did like what they were doing. So, they did well against a good Denmark team. I would like to see Australia win, but... I just kind of... I'm going to back Tunisia here. I'm going to say 2 on Tunisia for this game. I think it'll be a tough game. Of course, for these games, I think there'll be a lot more goals because teams have to go out and go for it. So I'd be very surprised... If the, I'd be very surprised if there's any, like, sort of, you know, uh, nil-nils here. Poland versus Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia with the massive surprise win against Argentina. Poland, who played very poor um, against Mexico. It's going to be a sticky one here. I can't lie. And... Of all games, it could be a nil-nil. No. I mean, in reality, people could be going for Saudi Arabia to win this game, really. And Poland, they were very poor. I can see it being a draw. I, I just, I didn't see enough from that game from Poland. And Saudi Arabia, I can see them winning. I can see this just being a draw, which really helps no one here. I guess it kind of helps Saudi Arabia, to be fair. So, I'll go for that. France free Denmark. Everyone's hoping that Denmark can do something. This is the game to really show what they can do. Do I think they could do it again? I hope so. I really do hope so. But they want the greatest against Tunisia. And they've got to do something different that game to really try to do to pull something off here. I'm going to say 2-0 France. Argentina v Mexico. These two both know each other quite well. And everyone, they're all expecting Argentina to make some big repl reply, some big comeback. And... If I know anything about Argentina, I think it means that it's going to be a draw. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. I think that Argentina will get a draw for this game. And it will be all relying on that last game against Poland for them to go all win. And I think that game they probably will win. I think that the Messi sort of meltdown thing, it could continue a little bit more. Because it kind of always happens like that for Argentina World Cups. They always kind of leave to the last game. And I think it could happen again. Japan versus Costa Rica. 
I think Costa Rica could be a bit better this time round, but not by much. I'm going to say 2-0 Japan. Belgium beat Morocco. I think this would be my, my upset, uh, one of my big upsets in this round too. I will say Morocco's going to win. I think Morocco's going to, I think, I think it'd be a banging game. I say Morocco's going to win. I'm going to say they're going to win 2-1. 2-1. I, I, I like Morocco. Belgium were, were very poor in that game against Canada. They were very lucky to beat Can to Canada to beat them in the first place. I think Morocco get a win against them. Croatia beat Canada. And I really want to back the upsets here. 1-0 Canada. Up the Canadians. Maybe it's just my kind of blind faith. But I didn't see that much. I don't think Croatia were that great against Morocco, really. And Canada really impressed me. And they made other chances, just didn't have the finishing. It's a different game. Could be a different scenario. I want to see some upsets. I want to see, I want to see some great stories. So maybe it's, my, maybe it's my blind faith. But I think this group can be turned completely upside down. Spain v Germany. And this is going to be a big, big game. Because Germany has to win this game. Like They're going to go all out here. Because they cannot risk even a point, really, because they then they can really get knocked out, and that's going to be an absolute nightmare for them. Spain, it's a tough one here. And in the recent histories, there's been goals. And I think it's going to be a 2-2 draw in this game. I think there'll be goals in this game. I think Germany is especially going to go for it. And there's some weaknesses there. And I think there'll be a 2-2 draw. Cameroon versus Serbia. Serbia, they did, they did okay against Brazil. I mean... They didn't really have many chances, really, but, like, they weren't completely destroyed. So, in this game, I'm going into it thinking, I kind of feel a bit of a of a madness here. I fancy Cameroon. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. I, I didn't think they were that bad against Switzerland and Cameroon. I thought they were quite unfortunate. I thought they made some good chances. And I think in this game, you know what, I'm going to go three. I don't know why. Just got a feeling. I think Cameroon can win this game. Korea versus Ghana. This could be a very tough tough game. And really, it can go either side here. This could go either way. And it's a huge game for the group as well. And I like Ghana. I like, for some reason, I just, I like them. I like what they're doing. And I think this could be a really tight game. I'm going to say 2-1 Ghana. 2-1 Ghana. I'll go 2-1. I like Ghana. I like what they're doing. And I thought they did quite well against Portugal and Korea. They did quite well as well. So I think it's quite tough to really say they're going to lose. I just feel Ghana. I just do. Brazil versus Switzerland. And Switzerland feels like the exact type of team that can get something from Brazil. And I think they will. That'd be my next big shock of the tournament, I guess. If it's even a shock for a draw. I think Switzerland, they're the, they're the perfect side to get something out of Brazil. I just think they, they can do something. They, just, they, they exist. They just annoy teams. And, I, I, and they drew against them back in 2014, I believe. Or 2018. 2018, yeah. So... Draw again. They know what to do. Portugal v Uruguay. Uruguay, I, I thought they were quite poor in their game. Portugal, they were also not the greatest, but they weren't bad. They were just okay. They got the win in the end. So this, you can probably try and go either way for this game, to be fair. I don't think Uruguay is the same team that they used to be. They're still okay, but I don't think they're the exact same team. And Portugal, they, they've got all the players, but they've not really got... Something's not clicking for them. For whatever reason. And I kind of want to say a draw, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be boring. I'm going to say, I, I'm going to say it's going to be a banger. Okay, I, I want goals. I want banger. I'm gonna, another 3-2. Go for another 3-2. Why not? Those are my predictions for round two. Give me yours or whatever your upsets are for round two down in the comments. I really like the look of group F. I think that's a fantastic group that anything could really happen in that group. So keep an eye on it. See you guys next time for another video. And stay safe.